What's going on guys, Mexo here. Today we're going to have a look at the Drevo 71 key mechanical RGB keyboard. What sets this keyboard apart from the other mechanical keyboards on the market is that it's a wireless Bluetooth keyboard. And spoiler alert, it's pretty awesome. Recently I decided to give wireless peripherals a try to give my desktop a cleaner look. Finding a wireless mouse was no problem, but finding a good wireless mechanical keyboard seemed to be impossible. I was originally looking at the Ani Pro, and had pretty much settled on getting one. The Ani Pro is a 60% board, meaning it's a compact board with 61 keys, versus a full-size keyboard with 101 keys. I knew I could get by without a number pad, but I drew the line of not having dedicated arrow keys, and unfortunately the Ani Pro didn't have dedicated arrow keys. Here entered the Drevo Caliber keyboard. The Caliber is a 10 keyless board without the function row, so basically it's a 70% board with the page up and page down rows and arrow keys. And as a bonus, the Caliber was cheaper than the Ani Pro. I bought this keyboard from Amazon. Links to the keyboard will be listed down below. When the box arrived, I was surprised how small it was. The keyboard arrived neatly packaged, which was a nice touch for a budget keyboard. The box was well padded to prevent any damage while in transport, and included a 6 foot USB cable, a keycap puller, the manual, some stickers, and of course the keyboard itself. Without a doubt, this is the smallest keyboard I've ever owned. Before this I was using the Corsair K90 keyboard, and that keyboard was a beast. Aside from having full media keys, it had 18 macro buttons, so it was pretty big and took up a lot of desk real estate. The K90 dwarfs the Caliber, but I'm liking the extra space that has been freed up on my desk, so that's a win for the Caliber. The K90 I have uses Cherry MX Red switches. I like the Cherry Reds for gaming, but I hated them for everyday typing. Reds just never felt right to me. So this time around I decided to give brown switches a try. The browns have a tactile bump when depressing them, but don't have that clickety clack noise that you find in the blues. The switches Drevo is using in the caliber are Otemu switches, which are cherry clones. Although they're clones, they still feel really good to me. When I slowly press the Otemus down, I can tell the difference between these and the cherry switches, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. The cherry switches feel smoother to me when depressing them, but the Otemus feel slightly less refined. The keycaps Drevo is using are said to be PBT keycaps. The box says PBT, but Drevo's own promotional video for the caliber on YouTube says they're ABS, so the jury's out on that one. With that said, these keys have a soft touch texture to them, which I really like. So this keyboard is full RGB. While it's not the most vivid or amazing RGB I've seen, it gets the job done. The keyboard contains the following seven lighting presets. You're also able to set the keyboard to solid colors or customize each key to your own liking using the function page up and page down keys. From there you could cycle through different colors for each key. Unfortunately there are only around 7 colors to choose from. 
Drevo has recently released software you can customize the color of your keyboard, but that only increases the color selection to roughly 40 colors. More on this software later in the video. I was pretty eager to test the Bluetooth capabilities of this keyboard, being that that was the main reason I bought the board. So the first thing I did was pair it to my PC. There's a black switch on the back of the board which enables the Bluetooth functionality. You're able to pair three different Bluetooth devices to the keyboard using the function Q, W, and E keys. There have been users of the Caliber reporting poor Bluetooth performance from this keyboard, but I have not experienced any connectivity issues or any lag to speak of since using this keyboard for the past two weeks. The only time I experienced lag with this keyboard is after waking my PC from sleep mode. I have to press a button on the keyboard to re-establish the Bluetooth connection, and from there I'm good to start typing with no missed key presses. Here is a typing test to show I have no issues with lag while typing, as well as a sound test of the key clicks which is straight out of the mic with no sound editing. And finally, here's a quick round of Doom Multiplayer to show the wireless performance while gaming. I can detect no lag while gaming with this keyboard. I'm sure there's latency happening, but I can't feel it. Or at the very least, it's not affecting my game. If you're a competitive gamer, it's probably best to use wired mode. If any competitive gamers use the wireless mode, leave a comment below if you're having any experience with lag. As I mentioned earlier, Drebo has recently released software to map key commands and to customize the color of your keys for Drebo keyboards. At the time of testing, the software was at 1.0, so hopefully Drebo continues to develop this software. When I first loaded the software, my keyboard wasn't detected. To solve this problem, I had to flash my caliber to the most recent firmware. Once I did this, I had no problem connecting at all. What I liked best about the software was the key mapper. I was able to add full multimedia controls to the keyboard. The software also included a backlight key mapper, so you can map individual key colors via the software rather than having to cycle through the colors on the physical keyboard. As I mentioned, additional colors are able to be mapped when using the software, but the color selection is still fairly lacking. So to recap, I can definitely recommend this keyboard to anybody looking for a compact keyboard. In my experience, the wireless performance is excellent. The keycaps feel really good, and overall it's a solid keyboard. Originally, I went into the market looking for a keyboard with good wireless performance and mechanical switches, and that's exactly what I got. And the head cat in charge proves as well. You tell him, Garfield. If you like this review or if you'd like to see more reviews like this, drop me a like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.